And from everything that I've ever seen, nothing is more powerful than the shit that's happening right here in this room. That's true now. That's true. And, you know, I damn near threw away, you know, everybody I meet, whenever I go anywhere, everybody's like, yo, um, Man, like how do I how do I get on? You know, and how do I want to rap, how to make music. You know, which is which is understandable because universe means one song. You know what I'm saying? All this shit is music. You know what I'm saying? Us being here, this is music. So it's 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 only natural for us to gravitate to the source of what we are. But I, I was like, shit, I'm trying to get out the music biz. I'm trying to figure out. <laughs> You know, I, I was trying to I was trying to find consciousness. And in the music industry, uh that <laughs> no, that is a that ain't nobody trying to do that. Ain't nobody time for that. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, when when you get the when you you know I answer You got one already? Industry, okay, you know, give it to somebody else. We got it. And um, give it back. You know, when, it back, right? in, okay. when you're coming into yourself and like, what I would say to anybody who is trying to get into the music industry, I would just say, don't compromise your spirituality for material, <laughs> for materialism. Right. So, all right, so anyway, all right, uh, so about two years ago, was it 2018, 19, 18? So around 2016, I put out a mixtape called NASA with an artist on my label called London J. This is my mic, my mic. Turn my mic up. Give me that walkie talkie. Here you go, God. So good. Deep down in my heart. God, I'm still love. It's on? I'm still love. All right, so, uh, all right, long story short, uh, so in 2000, in 2016, uh, 15, I can't remember exactly, I had a mixtape called NASA that I put out with my artist on my label called London J. I'm gonna tell y'all how the spirit works with this shit. Um, the mixtape was called NASA, and it was an acronym for Niggas Ain't Shit Association. So, I put a hidden song at the end of the mixtape, and I reversed the title and called it a son. You can probably look it up. So when I went and searched for the name to see if anybody found the hidden track, I typed in NASA hidden track, and a motherfucking flat earth video came up. Wow. And I was like, I heard. So I started playing it. It was an Eric Dubé video. I don't know if any of y'all came across that. Um, but I look at the video and he started talking some shit like, you know, the, the, the Earth is an enclosed system and the sun and the moon are solar and lunar energies that magnetize around each other. I'm like, what the fuck is this talking about? I'm finna close out the video, but I keep listening to it and I'm like, oh shit. This nigga is fucking, oh, this nigga's on the sun. So, what happened, what ensued after that is the water, I don't know if y'all familiar with the Elements mixtapes, but I, I put out a water mix. Y'all familiar with the Elements? So uh, I put out the water mixtape, the fire mixtape, uh, air and earth. And um, I completely went full Monty on the country shit. I was like full commercial music. Um, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck about nothing. To be honest with y'all, I really thought that somebody was gonna try to kill me. I thought they was gonna try to offer me for making that water mixtape. And like, I'm not exaggerating. Like I was in my basement with my shirt off, smoking weed, I felt like Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Like, and so, so anyway, so, you know, the Elements mixtape led me to, to speaking out on my Instagram, doing videos, um, and my cousin here, who is uh, my older cousin from Denver, you know, he's been in the metaphysical scene since I was a kid. 
So he seen me doing this, and so he sent me, he sent me some videos one day. And one of the videos was Brother Rich video. You heard me. And you heard me. And the other video was Brother Pan. <laughs> so, you know, like, I'm, you know, like, I spent, like, if anybody was following me, I spent, like, a good, like, year, it felt like, just putting up videos every day on my Instagram. And, you know, I'm talking about all the shit anybody who's conscious is talking about. I'm talking about chakras, you know, the metaphysical, body, the alchemical process of the you know, microcosmic orbit that goes up your spine, and you know what I'm saying, I'm studying everything, but when I when I came across Brother Penny, he started talking about some, the, a, a deeper level uh, of, of just what all this shit is about, really, you know what I'm saying, like uh, the internal understanding. And when I when I got into Brother Penny's videos, I started hearing about Bobby Hemi, and that's when I got into Bobby Hemi, and I swear to God, I listened to how y'all doing, son? Y'all doing good? Y'all good? Okay, how you doing? All right. Y'all all right? Yeah! But I'm trying to keep this short, y'all. I'm not a lecturer. Um, so, <laughs> he said I should be. Um, so, I spent a good, uh, I spent a good year just listening to Bobby Hemme and Brother Panny videos. All you heard was from my house was, I'm about to my Zara Minor, y'all like? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're, you're, you're Brother Penny. <laughs> um, and so, uh, so long story short, you know, um, I'm going full Monty on that shit, you know, putting up videos. And so I, I get in touch with uh, Brother Penny. And, um, you know, I let him tell you that more of that story, but uh, <laughs> uh, we got a chance to have a consultation. And and really, from, from I feel like I know you about a year and a half now, we've just been building, and, and we've been really, we just had a chance to just, you know, build like people. And I don't know the whole type of shit all the time, I don't just be like, yo, bang, so I, I looked up in the sky today and it was a star system, and I, you know, we just got just to talk like real people, you know what I'm saying? And, and um, you know, we talk a lot about, you know, old school hip hop and shit like that. And, and so, um, so pretty much, man, uh, to round this thing off, you know, what I've discovered is that in my plight of trying to find consciousness and trying to figure out why everywhere on the planet black people are oppressed, psychologically, which ends up showing as physical oppression. And why is it that everything that I ever wanted to say and do and put into my music is never supported by the music industry? And why the music industry is conducive to music just about your typical sex, drugs, and money. Sex is good, y'all, but when we're talking about from a physical standpoint, that's all this push for, you know what I'm saying? So, so I really understood something deeper, and I understood why. Uh, I understood the difference, and um, you know, very few people, you know, most artists go from conscious and then they become pop artists. And I guess I'm one of the only artists that went from pop to conscious, so. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't even be here without my cousin Jerry introducing all this shit to me, so y'all give it up for Jerry one time. Shouts out to uh, Khadija and Tiffany in the bank. Hey guys, I got my point in Tiffany in the bank. My goodness, you are the infinite open son. <laughs> so look, man, I'm gonna hand this over to Penny, man. This is what he does, man. I, I, I try to do him proud, man, so appreciate y'all. <laughs> hey!
Brother Rich, we're going to set something up. Y'all haven't seen the last of Jared, because when I found out about Jared, y'all about to find out about Jared. He's been on around the world with his cousin for a reason. And what he does, and about to show y'all, is an absolute positive manifestation of melanin magic. So what we're trying to do is get you a little bit of funky tunes. Um, Rich is going to get uh, POV to the music man so we can plug in. Yes, we're going to do some before Jack Shutter. So Jack, we're going to try to get Jack on the stage if we can. And he can, he can actually break down what he's doing. So we're going to give him 10 minutes once he's set up. Uh, we're just waiting for Rich. Brother Rich, ready to be tried. Or someone who could bring POV up to the music. Baby's going now. All right. Yeah. Somebody okay, that's enough. We got to take a picture with Phil. Um, okay. I love you. Yeah. 